sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We got semifinals action. Both of these players have guaranteed themselves $2,500. The winner of this game will walk away with minimum $7,500 with a chance to make it $12,500. This game is for $5,000 minimum. Two of the hottest players on the circuit. We got ourselves a real treat. Enjoy. Want to talk about a, an advantage. We've seen the defense for Atlanta be very good throughout this tournament. Clef, he's going to take those Atlanta Falcons. Kratobin is going to try to utilize the offensive speed of the Kansas City Chiefs. One of these four players will be the inaugural DreamHack Madden champion. And an opportunity for Kratobin to set the tone early. He'll get the ball first. He's going to come down. Look at this. He's in single back. A little bit of a different look, and he's going to run the ball on first down. It's not a formation you see every day. Maybe some wrinkles from Kratobin. Let's, going Let's, to see, what Let's see what settings they're changing. Let's check it out. He was about to change the speed parity scale. Oh my gosh, Make it man. real interesting. Vibrations off. Welcome to menu time here at DreamHack. Well, here's the thing. This is very smart. When you're playing at a tournament and multiple people have been playing on the council, on that profile, you don't know what settings they may have been switching around or messing with. Yeah, Everyone has their own preferences. So it, absolutely, you need to be able to go in there and check those things before the matchup. That's a veteran move. Right there, from I believe that was Kratobin that paused the game. Yeah, second and seven now for Kratobin. Look to pass it, only a three man rush. He'll look underneath. Spin move, looking for the strip. It's gonna be Tyree Kill picking up two. Shout out to everybody in the chat, all 1,300 plus of you. Thank you for joining us in the semifinals matchup. The action, fair to say, guys, has just gotten better and better as this tournament has gone on. Third and five, deep down the field. Ah, Tyree Kill making the catch in traffic. A first down for Kratobin. It's a big catch right there. That's one of those 50-50 type balls. He could have easily dropped it. But big players make big plays, and Tyree Kill will obviously one of the best playmakers out there at the receiver position. Which means he should be double teamed at all times. Got it. First and 10. Big hit. Oh, and Chris Conley holding on to the ball through a thunderous hit. You don't see that every day. That is a very fortunate completion right there for Kratobin. He's going to audible back down to this single back doubles. And I like this. This, is, this isn't going to be a formation. He's going to have a stretch. He's going to have a dive. He may even have a bubble screen he can go to out of that. But this, this is a good way to mix it up, especially against that 3-3-5 front. Nice little wrinkle to, to that gun bunch hey, where, hey, where you can hey, audible hey, on the center and, and get yourself to a formation that's got some more run options than just that base or that halfback draw. Left, left, Second left, and eight. Left. Love that strategy back with Tobin. Tobin looking to punch this ball in. Kelsey's the end zone. Oh, he him. Is that a moment where you don't like seeing the high pass? Because it looked like he could have just thrown that normally and, and he might have had a chance. Well, he broke open and it, you know it was one of those scary throws because Clef was guarding Kelsey, but then he broke off him at the last minute. For Tobin trying to get it to him, probably while he threw the high ball. Wow. You can't take those timeouts with you. I do not mind that timeout at all to make sure that you've got, you got your the defense on the field and you're ready to get this stop. That could be the difference between seven, three, or nothing. Third and eight. Bunch flip to the left side. Hill alone on the right side. Now flip the bunch to the right side, putting Watkins alone on the left side. And give up. Throw it down. Yeah, weak. Third and eight, Kratobin stepping up. Nobody there, gets out of the pocket. Still nobody there. He's just gonna throw this ball away. Oh. Settle for three, but a good early drive from Kratobin getting some points on the board. And you see Assuming him, this goes uh, well, That was a critical third down, and you've seen him flipping his plays. It's gonna kick his three right here. Should be pretty automatic, you'd think. 
But on those third downs, you're going to flip your play a lot, especially a guy like Clef, who's very adjusty on defense. So what you, a lot of these guys will do is they'll just keep flipping their play just to make it harder for those adjusting players to make those adjustments because you really don't know what side they're going to run the formation from. Ball is down. Kick is up. It is good. Kurtobin first on the board. 3 nothing. the first quarter. Let's see what Clef has. The semifinal matchup. He's looked good in this gun trips tight end all tournament long. Very prolific, very poised. Can he keep this momentum going against the Madden Challenge belt winner? Madden Ball alumni. Probably fair to say the rookie of the year. Oh, yeah. Kratobin. If we had our Madden fair. Awards. I think that's the only answer. That's the only answer. If we had our Madden Awards, he'd be yeah. unanimous rookie yeah. of the year. Speaking of which, when are we going to get the Maddies? I'm all for it. I'd love to do the Maddies. Let's say the top five awards that you'd like to see at the Maddies. That's a good one. That's a good question. What's, what are the award categories you guys would like to see at the Maddies? Rookie of the year, best player. Best, best offense, moments, best, offense best, defense, defense, best play, most clutch, most clutch, best play, best performance. This so How about many best options. game, best moment? Best game, that's another one, best moment. Yeah, let's see what they got in the chat. See, setting audibles was Kratobin. That big nickel. First and ten, we're trying to run it with Freeman. Best lurker, best daughter. Game of the year. Game of the year would be a good one. Revisit some of those classic matchups we've had throughout the season. I know Dubby did something similar on his needed podcast, but you're talking something official. Hey, I'm talking, you want us I'm talking suit, dress up. Suit and ties. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking a gala event. I want award speeches. That's all I want. Good nice user down the field right to there. take away the oh, crosser. A little too much spin right there. Can you imagine the young Kiva and everybody getting all dressed up, tuxedoed up for the Maddies? <laughs> I want to see VY in a, in a tuxedo. That's all I want to see. Let's go. It'll be good times. Yes. You know what? And I, I truly believe we, we're not there yet, Rico, but I truly believe we stick together. We continue to grow this thing. We can get there. I believe, I believe it. We stop on first down, set up a second and 14. Motion, motion, motion. By the way, 1,500 right now. Look at him. Got to love those numbers. Big Better. shout out to everybody. June 2nd. We we're going to hand out $25,000 in prize money. We've come a long way. Second and 14. Clef the God with the ball. Dropping back to pass. Matty Ice. Good read. Pressure trying to get there, but Clef just a little quicker. Julio oh, breaks a tackle. Breaking more tackles. Who is tough to bring down? And you'll, up a third down. you'll see that from Julian in Madden, especially in Madden 19. When you when you're trying to hit stick, um, you know weight and size is a big factor into those. And a lot of those defenders aren't going to have the weight and the size to really put out a player like Julio Jones. Lay, lay him out. So that's why you see Julio often break a lot of tackles against those hit sticks. Uh oh, Julio's in space. Julio's in space. Clutched into the end zone. I'm telling you, it's that size and that weight for this combination of ratings. It, it allows him to be so dangerous, not only through the air, but after he gets the ball in the open field, able to break the tackles. We saw it all throughout the Madden Championship. C Blank, got to give it to him. He said the Spot Me Sportsmanship Award and the True Boy Best Stick. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's classic. The Spot Me Dot of the Year <laughs> and the True Boy Run of the Year would, would, would be a good one. Uh, th those would be must-haves. It's funny because now hey, when hey, I, hey, it's hey, not hey. funny, but I always, instead of a dot, we took it to another level. If, if it's a super dot, I now call it a spot. Ooh, and then, I like that. And then if you have the super stick on the run, it wasn't the truck stick, it was the true stick. I like it. And I don't even consider it stealing. But I will continue to use that. I think everybody should. Spot. Yep. We, we, we did it in the Madden Champion trip. And it, and it brings me back to that first tournament he had. You know I called that one correctly, too. Here's a question I have for you. 
And chat, please help us out with this. There's a lot of, let's just say gray area, where you talk about dot versus a bad read. Some yeah. people will say that was a dot. Some people will say it was lucky. Some people say that was a bad read. Where do you draw the line with that, like the big game speech? Uh, it, 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 it's, it's very subjective all the time. You'll say you'll you know see if you people that <laughs> you, you throw it one on one to, to a guy like Julio, and it's a good matchup. You go, oh, that's a good matchup. Go, oh no, there was someone there that's applying. Re it's so subjective. We got ourselves a good game here as we go into the second quarter. Left up seven to three. Kratobin on his second drive. Trying to go down there. Take the lead with a touchdown. First and ten. Kratobin. Oh. Underneath. Okay, this is a perfect example. Was that a dot? No. A bad read? No. Bad read. It was a bad I don't think you wanted to go there. I think if, if you look at it, if Kratobin watches that back, he shouldn't have made that throw. Mahomes, he's going for it all over the top. And you know what? Sometimes in a situation, if it's, say you make that read, right, Rico, and it's fourth down, nothing else was open, and that was your only place where you had a little bit of hope. You did the right thing. Some, there's going to be certain situations where, where, where you're going to have to test the coverage a little bit. You just got to pick and choose where those spots are. Nice throw. Good example of it right there. Two defenders down. around him, but he got in between them. Could have hit it. The ball could have got bounced, but you trust the receiver. Big play for Kratobin as he moves this rock. Both players looking decent on offense so far. First and ten. Stepping up. Looking over the top. Go! Kratobin with the answer. He goes back on top with a dot of his own to Sammy Watkins. He can dodge Kratobin back to back, throws a post route, then he gets Watkins down the sideline, threads the needle and answers right back to Clef. That was an impressive drive by Christian Lamenzo, a.k.a. Kratobin. And let's see how Clef responds. I'll stop. I still think my favorite moment of the year didn't even happen on a main stream. It was that pre-stream when uh, I.B. Strafen asked which Madden player takes the most time to get ready in the morning, and Little Man responded with Randy Moss. <laughs> That's vintage Little Man. That's so good. Kratobin, we wondered what would happen first time Clef got a lead if Kratobin could respond, and Kratobin with a beautiful drive down the field. Now second and six for Clef. Atlanta Falcons out of trips tight end. Freeman on his left hip. Coleman in motion on second down. Pressure up the middle, picked up. He's got a man downfield. Julio Jones. I'm surprised Rico hasn't snapped yet. Julio has been getting busy. Here's the thing. That was good. I feel like it's falling on deaf ears. At some point, these people are saying, hey, I'm willing to make him take my shot with that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Yeah, you pick your poison. I just don't prefer to give up the one-hitter quitter. She's got to work a little harder. Especially when, and I don't, the reason why I also don't get it is people talk about fluke, the things that can happen in the game, the tip drills, the fumbles. When you know all of that's in the game, why wouldn't you want to make your opponent run as many plays as possible? Uh, I understand, Rico. And just, uh, if, if I ever uh, see you on the stick, oh, and, and that wide receiver one's getting busy, you're going to get an earful from me. <laughs> All I'm saying. Ten. You won't. Good drive right now by Clef, though. Already in field goal range. That's why that Julio play was so big, Nick. Get up! Now, at the very least, Clef should be able to tie this ball game with a chance to take the lead. Neither one of them really sniffed out a stop yet, huh? First and 10, oh, pressure got a half the a edge. Stop. Big hit. Clef got the stop on the first drive. Yeah, you got a half a stop. We'll get a half stop. Drini, you're Madden Bowl champion in the chat. What's going on, Drini? Hey, hey, gun, gun. I'll, I'll be honest, one of, one of my favorite parts about DreamHack, the, the things that I've seen on Twitter, is how many of the guys who didn't make it out here go, man, I wish I made it out there. 
There's a lot of them. It was a phenomenal event. I, I, I could definitely vouch for it. I, I would definitely come back to this event if I, if I could have done it all over again. No regrets about coming out here. It was just so good to see everybody, too. You know, just not only seeing the competition, but seeing everybody from the community, the good times, the camaraderie. That's what I live for. And breaking news when it feels like breaking. We all just got invited to the EDM after, official DreamHack after party. Got my glow sticks. Let's go. <laughs> Two-minute warning in the first half. 10-7. Your score. Boy, how... How I'm important. just picturing you two at the EDM three mac after part. <laughs> you guys need a camera crew following you two. It's out of line. How important would it be for Kurtobin to get a stop here and force him to kick a field goal? That could really be a, a defining play for Kurtobin. He's looking for his defense to step up big. Kurtobin, you look like you, you, you're really relying on your user. I might just inside zone him right here. No, Clef goes play action. Squares coming to Oh, what a dot! Is that a dot? Is that oh, a dotty dot dot? Oh, that was a hot one. I thought he was going to come to the post route, coming backside. Instead, the corner route breaks towards the sideline. Clef recognizes that the user goes towards the middle of the field, slangs it for the touchdown, responds to Kratobin, and we're seeing high-level Madden right now here in the semifinals of the DreamHack $25,000 tournament. Buck 55 on the clock, though, and Kratobin will have plenty of time to get down the field. Make some noise before the end of the first half. Clef will get the ball to start the second half. As Clef likes to say, that was a laser. In the back corner of the end zone. Gunnerman saying one stop, it's GG's. It's a big crowd right here. I think Kratobin's going to have to do something to make... Clef speed up his reads. He needs to start sending some more pressure or whatever. You can't just allow a player as good as Clef to go through all of his reads like that. You got to send some heat. Take the five. Especially with a defense like the Atlanta Falcons. There's so much speed on the front seven. You can create some pressure and you don't have to send seven. You can send five or six and, and really get some heat on Mahomes. Pressure off the right side. Only a three-man rush. He's got all day. Look at him at the top. Oh, that was a dangerous throw, challenging the user, and the user makes a nice play. Third down. Very risky throw right there from Kratov, but now he finds himself in a big third down and five. Left starting to get some momentum on defense here. Black 58 rail! Black 58 rail! Both these guys locked in. Winner gets an extra five grand guaranteed. And gets the opportunity to be named the inaugural Dream Hack Madden champion. Third and five. Pressure picked up. Good man, game. open over the middle. Clef kind of got caught in no man's land with his user, kind of trying to think between should I stay underneath? Should I go with the vertical routes going up the seam? Kratoba took advantage of it. Now on first and ten, dropping back to pass once more. Ooh, he gets hit as he threw. Oh, he is lucky. Very lucky. I'm surprised he didn't try to throw to the hitch route. It looked like the hitch route was standing pretty open 10 yards down the field. A lot of times when they have their guys locked on that read and they know what they want, they're not going to look off and throw anything else. Now second and 10. Kratobin with the ball, 57 seconds remaining in the first half. Stepping up, dropping back. He's got all day. He rolls out of the pocket. Playmaker back across the field, and a great throw, and Kelsey's got room. He's to the 40, he's to the 30, inside the 30, to the 26-yard line. How about the pocket presence and the patience from young Kratobin? The clock's continuing to tick. Kratobin still with all three of those timeouts. He's trying to ensure that Clef will not get the ball back in this second half, and if he was to do it, he would have it with no time left to work with. 29 seconds remaining. How aggressive do you think Kratobin gets here? Very. He has to. Two timeouts remaining. Mahomes. Stepping up. On the left side. Has a man inbounds. Rack egg to the three yard line. What a throw there from Kratobin. Oh, man. That's another one of those throws. It kind of a 50 50 ball, Ooh. but you trust your receiver. He has a step on him. Gets that positional advantage. 
That's true. And fun. how oh. even is this matchup, Nick? I mean, these guys are just going back and hey, forth. Hey, this hey, is hey, a good hey, old-fashioned hey, slugfest hey, in Madden. Hey, hey. If Kratova can get this touchdown here, he is in business. Fullback dive, stopped at the two-yard line. Are you surprised Kratova takes a time out there? Just because he wants to make sure he has a chance to run two more plays. Hey, 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 he doesn't hey, want to hey, limit hey, himself in case of anything. How many of these plays are fullback dive? Should be all of them. Old school. I remember Clef did have good goal line defense. Toss play. Cut inside. Oh, oh what a cut into the end zone. Touchdown, Kratovin. Ooh, what a ball game we R have going on P here, man. M. the difference in games we had from day one to today. It's not even close. And we knew it was going to happen. You get that in group play, but here we are. We're in the semifinals. We're talking the best of the best who were left in this field. And they're not disappointed so far. Now 18 seconds left. Clef has two timeouts. Get into field goal range, kick it, tie it up. Certainly a possibility. Very much so. Think about it. Clef's played almost a perfect game. So far, he's not just gotten stops. He's had everything he's wanted on offense. And Nick, Nick talked about it at the top of the show. This guy, Kratobin, left trying to make something happen. This guy, Kratobin, man, he's a guy that is used to playing in games where just people aren't believing him. You saw 80% of people going for Clef. Nobody really giving him a chance. And time and time again, he's been able to come out and prove the doubt is wrong. And so far, so good for the young buck. Eight seconds remaining. Clef has one timeout. Do you see three here for Clef? The way he's throwing it, yeah. But if, if Kratovin gets some pressure, he only sends three, but he's chasing him out of the pocket, looking deep down the field. No. That would have been a hop. Big defensive stop. Now you just got to make sure this is... It does look like Kratovin's going to do it. It's where I love seeing the three deep come out. The quarter's three deep, man up three deep. This is old school. Back in the day, if you didn't come out in this defense, if I was playing a game and didn't come out in this defense at the end of the half, oh, no, he switched from it, Nick. A guy like Rico would snap on you. Like, Absolutely. The quarter's three deep, man up three deep was a staple. And here you go. You had to make sure you were not going to get beat over the top with anything. So just like that, halftime. Kratobin, a three-point lead. Clef getting the ball to start the second half. We got ourselves a ball game here at DreamHack. If you're Kratobin and you're told you have a three-point lead going into the half, even though you don't get the ball, I think you're ecstatic. Yeah, you'll take that. It's against the player of Clef's caliber. Only down three, getting the ball back. I think Clef is furious. You think so? Yes. He'd say he's played the better half. I think it's just a, a, an even good matchup with Madden football. Both guys playing at a high know. level right now. I don't even know if you'd say he's, I mean, I, I guess uh, he's played a slightly better half, but if you look at it, both two touchdown drives, uh, a, a stop for each person, just a stop for when did Kratobin was get a stop. End of the half. That he's doesn't at, really count. He's at the 44-yard line just out. He's at the 48. Only eight seconds. He only needed to get 11 yards to be in field goal range. That, that, I'm not saying it's a full stop. Him. I'm not saying it's a full stop. I'm saying it's a half stop, much like the half stop that Clef got. 54, no, Clef, Clef got, got a real half, half, he got a half stop. stop. Gave up points. I would count both those as a half stop. Second, second and eight, Rico. This is your down. Look at Calvin Ridley blocking on the outside. It's, I hate when I'm playing the game and someone runs inside zone on me and, and the wide receivers are like gladiators. The way, the way they block on my cornerbacks. I get so frustrated with my defense when they allow that to happen. Shout out to everybody hanging out in the chat all day. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams on the call. Look at deep down the field. Wow! That was so close to being a sack, and he was able to turn that into that big of a play. You got to love it. That looked like both a sack and an overthrow, and then it ends up being a completion. I thought he was going to the route right underneath it. The deep crossing route goes over his head, and then Calvin Ridley is there for a big game. And now Cliff, already in field goal range, should be able to tie this ball game. At the very least, potentially take the lead.
Playmaker up the field. He's going to have to throw this away. Did look like for a second, I don't know if you were watching the user from Kratoba, it looked like he was caught in no man's land a little bit in the middle. But he closes hard on the hit route and good cover to the left side of the field. Now second and 10 for Clef. Down three, 335 to go in the third quarter. A $5,000 minimum game of Madden. Driving back to pass. Stepping up. Back of the end zone. Tough catch, but he makes it. And who else but Julio with the big play. I, I, he, he's had to have been the MVP of the tournament so far. Huli Mongoli has been all over the place making touchdown grab after touchdown grab. He's just been a dominant force and Clef doing a phenomenal job of using his best players and his tr most trusty weapons that he has at his disposal and getting them involved in the offense. That's something that a lot of people will forget to do. You got to give your playmakers a chance to make plays. Clef's done a phenomenal job of that all time. I would love to see more people use the swap mechanic underneath there. Yeah, and to be fair, you're, it's, the thing that's tough about it, Nick, is it happens so quick that you don't feel like you can click on and swat fast enough, but you're absolutely right. The, the, the true counter to that, if you want to give yourself the best chance to stop one of those ad catches, is if you can click on and get the SWAT input in in time before that aggressive catch animation matches, you will give yourself a good chance to break up that aggressive catch. Travis Kelsey with a little shoot. Yeah, that's nice to make a toe with a little wiggle. A lot of time down the middle of the field. Tough throw, tough catch. Chris Conley making plays. The third member of that wide receiver core, we haven't seen a whole lot throughout the tournament. It's been mostly Watkins and Hill, but Chris Conley coming up big for Kratobin. Too hot, kid. Appreciate the love in the chat. Now, 242 and counting in the third quarter, a back and forth affair. First and 10, quick throw to the wheel. I don't mind the high pass there. Yeah, there's, the fun, the yeah, there's defenders in the vicinity. It's also one of those my guy or no guy type of throws. Worst case scenario, it goes out of bounds. Second and 10. What do you like here, Rico? You've been the second down specialist. Travis Kelsey getting involved. We got three, three down, three down. Hey, fellas, we got three. Let's go. Colvin's playing a good offensive game. If you're Chris Colvin, you need some points here. You cannot, this is definitely four down territory. You cannot allow yourself to come out empty here. Clef has too much momentum going on right now. Definitely four down territory, unless he was to take a big sack here. 37. Tobin slowly but surely moving this ball, but that's a good lurk by Clef with Deion Jones, and now we got ourselves potentially the biggest play of the game. Thus far, this is a true momentum play, boys. This one's huge. Can Clef get a marquee stop? Can Kratobin get a marquee conversion? Fourth and seven. 2.05 to go in the third quarter. Gun bunch, Mahomes dropping back. He's got time. He's looking deep. He's going for the whole enchilada. Ooh, he oh, had he a did. step on him. What a gusty throw from Kratobin. He went for the gusto, not able to execute, and all the momentum now shifting towards Clef the God. If he can go down the field and get himself the touchdowns, it's going to be... Kratobin will be something short of a miracle to get back in this one, the way Clef's been playing. Are you surprised you didn't see Kratobin with all the room he had over there with Mahomes trying to pick it up with seven? That's what I... I've been screaming that people need to keep people honest with their quarterback all year long. But if it's not in your game, when it comes down to this, you're not going to go outside of what you've been doing all year long. So that wasn't even a thought for him. He was just waiting for that brought to break. Oh, man, that, that is rough for Kratobin. He was looking good on offense, moving the ball. You're just a little bit shy of field goal range. You're trying to get there, like Rico said, to guarantee yourself some points. You cook one up to Tyreek. It's a little too much mustard on it, and now here comes Clef the God, who's looked phenomenal on offense all day. Good stick work on that fullback dive to find the hole, pick up the first. The thing I love about that play there from Clef, sort of the cerebral part of it, was he comes out in the strong eye, 
you know it's going to be fullback dive, and he snapped that so quickly. Didn't give him enough time to set up for a, a gap shoot. Yeah, good old quick hike. And you know what I love about... I don't love the quick hike. It's actually caused me a lot of pain when I play. It's tough to deal with. Hey, hey, but then you'll see teams like the Patriots in the NFL. It, it's a real it's tactic set. within football, not letting the defense get set, go. hitting them with that tempo. Check. And it's one of those tactics. It's used in Madden, and it's used in real life. And you know what? It's very effective in both. All right, second and 12 here. Well, break it down for us, Rico. Hold the look, hold the look, hold. Here, Clef, you still run the ball. Yeah, You're going to take this into the fourth quarter. You're already up four. You, if three puts you to the touchdown, nobody goes for two anymore, so you're pretty safe. You still run the ball here on second and 12. You've been running the ball at will. They don't There's, go for two like they used to. They, they don't. don't. So, they, they, so seven is eight now. <laughs> Four's up in the chat. We're heading to the fourth quarter. It's a four-point game. Fourth quarter. Four points. What more can you ask for? A spot in the finals on the line. Clef, the lead and the ball. Can Tobin get a defensive stop? Check, check. Hey, wait, wait. Gun, gun, gun. 21-17. Hey, right Why not run it once more? And big hole up in the middle. Uh, Boy, Kratobin exactly. caught off guard by the run. Not sure. You know what? He was caught off guard because he was expecting Clef to play like everybody else and do the wrong thing. <laughs> did exactly what he was supposed to do. It parted like the Red Sea. Move those sticks. Let's go. This this is where you're starting to get nervous. If you're Kratobin, you know you have to hold him to a field goal right here. But Clef's been so efficient on offense. Has has Clef made a bad read on game? I'm trying to think back. I don't recall. I, I know Kratobin's had a couple questionable ones. Especially underneath. He had that one where it looked like he... No, that was a good read because the deep cross was open. And I think he's been efficient on offense, bottom line. First and ten. The only bad read Clef had is because we were looking at the wrong receiver. <laughs> we thought he had a bad read, but he had a <laughs> right. perfect read. Yep. And let's get another first down stop, second and 14. And, and, and to his credit, too, it is so rare where you see someone able to live up to the hype. He's coming to this tournament with so much expectation, and so far he hasn't disappointed at all. This game far from over, though. We're under the four-minute mark. He's going to throw it this time. Looks underneath. Got to get somebody on the tight end. And that was very smart. Did you see Clef use the RB mechanic to cover the ball as he was approaching traffic? No need to risk a hit stick or a fumble. And that's just high-level Madden from Clef the God. Not enough people take advantage of that cover ball mechanic. Were you surprised to see Clef snap that ball with 15 seconds of the play clock? Yes. But he was doing something to try to catch him off guard, which allowed him to get there because Gertobin was waiting for him to milk some clock as well. Right now, you got to tip your hat to Clef. He is playing a perfect yeah. game. He's executing, and he is cerebrally thinking. Clef may lock this down here. Play action pass. He's going to try to throw it. He wants to put it away. Pressure. He gets hit as he throws. Deep pass. Julio can't make the catch. <laughs> and just when I was telling Clef, he was doing everything perfect. I don't know that you need that there. You got to be happy, though. How about the double coverage around Julio? If that's single coverage, he probably comes down with that ball. That additional oh. traffic really helps you knock out chances. Doubling up a star receiver. Interesting play there. And it worked out. <laughs> Second and 10, Jones in motion. I don't think we see a carry here for Freeman. No, one pass makes you throw another. Watch. Jones coming back in motion. We're going to use this entire play clock. He's going to take this all the way. Down to six, hands it to Freeman. Big stop, because that looked like he could have gashed him for a touchdown instead. A third and eight. And boy, does Kratoba need to clutch up here. Okay. This is the biggest play of the game so far. Hey, hey, Tobin gun, gun. needs to stop right here. Hey, hey, Clef. What does Clef do offensively? Throw to Julio. Love to pick up this first down. No Look how little people the on the touchdown. left side of the field. He's going to put Julio in motion. This is intense. Huge here he goes. Play. Third and eight. Waiting, looking. He's got him on the wheel. you got to put oh. someone on the halfback. But he steps out of bounds. Rico's frustrated. And Rico's giving us the face. Well, what's wrong, Rico? I, I, I'm not sure I understand that defensive call by Kurtobin. You know that's where 
nine out of ten people want to get to the flats eventually. You got to have somebody there, even if it's for a show. You can put them in a hard flat. Oh. Big hit on the one. Now Clough can take this all the way down to the two-minute warning. Yeah, does he have one-yard defense? Like, does he? Uh, uh, you need Otherwise, you, you need to let him score immediately, or you need to make sure you hold the door here. Yeah, right now, you got to do your best hold or impression. I think yeah, I, Kurt Tobin's playing for the game. He's not letting him in. I think... It would have took a lot for Clef to go for a touchdown there. Go back dive. Freeman didn't get in. I think Hold he needed on. to protect the sticks close. a little bit more. Hold on. I think he needed to protect the sticks a little bit more and make Clef have to try to throw something over the top of him. You never know. You might get a tip drill. You might get an overthrow or something like that. You can't allow that halfback out of that wheel to get it that easily. Hold on. Half yard line. Either that or it's gonna, it took him extra time and all this. Go back this. dive. Gets in. He's in. Oh, door holding going on there. And I don't know. For, for Kratoman to win this game, he's going to need to go down and get a score. At least a field goal and then an onside kick. And any time you got to rely on an onside kick, you're, you're not in good shape. And, and Rico, we go back to that play. Fourth and seven. Could have picked up the first down with the legs of Patty Mahomes. Instead, he goes for it all. Go for the game there, and that ends up being what could be the deciding play. And that was the difference between the decision Clef made and the decision he made. Clef said, I'm going to go ahead, get that first down, and move the chains. He went for it all, didn't work out. What a run by for Colvin, huh? I mean, still in this game, he has the chance with the onside kick, but. Or a quick score. You got, you got to assume that Clef. Going to be able to pull this one out, and there it is. That's going to be it. Gee, he finally, in he the finally got burned on one of those underneath throws that he got a little lucky with. Are you still perfect, RG? You call Clef here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's having, he's having a, a run on day three. We both got this one right. I think I'm, I passed you, you now. Know, you know my picks. I'm, I'm having a strong day when you can fight through the Rico mush on you. When <laughs> Rico's picking with you. Hey. <laughs> still... I told you Clef was playing too good a ball to go against him on this one. That's a good run by Kratobin. It's going to come up a little bit short here. He's calling those timeouts. It's going to be too late, though. It's going to be GG's. They're putting their GG's in the chat. And... What a remarkable season from Christian Lomenzo, a.k.a. Kratobin. Obviously shouldn't hang his head at anybody would, especially in your first year. Like we said, the unanimous rookie of the How year. How about the last four months for him? Oh, a Madden challenge belt, a Madden bowl performance that, he, what, he made it all the way? I, I think the best way I could even put it for Kratobin, Rico, and this is not a knock because I fall in this category as well, 